to grade 12 and we're particularly going to look at the tan court theorem right uh, there are actually six theorems that are examinable so which means that you must learn all six of them I have them I'm not gonna go through them I'm just gonna concentrate on the one that we're doing now if you subscribe you'll find the other theorems that we have done already on our website so right now we are gonna look at theorem number four not theorem number four particular but the fourth theorem out of the six that is examinable and the theorem states that the angle between the tangent of a circle and the chord drawn from the point of contact is equals to the angle in the alternate segment right um, we're gonna start with the definition of a tangent right let's look at the, our diagram here the definition says the tangent is the line that touches the particular shape in this case is a circle at one point so the tangent here is P A T you can see that it touches the circle at A and then a chord a chord is a line that touches the circle circumference in two places when you look at this diagram we actually have three chords we have chord A B we have chord B C and we have chord C D so C A so when you look at the theorem the theorem talks about the angle between the tangent of the circle and the chord drawn from the same point so when you look here our tangent a t that's our tangent and our chord a b so there's an angle that formed between them the angle b a t so the theorem says that that angle is equals to the angle that is formed in the alternate segment so when you look at this chord we have a line that is drawn a c b and the angle from there when you look at that angle c it starts at a at that chord go to c and comes back to chord a b so the angle that is formed is angle c so the theorem states that that angle angle c is equal to that angle angle a uh, no b a t but you have the same thing in this side you have angle c a p that angle there equals to angle b so when you prove a theorem you need to know which conjectures are you going to use for this particular theorem the tan court theorem you're going to use three you're going to use angle in the semicircle the tangent of a circle is perpendicular to a radius or a diameter and the third one are uh, angles in the same segment are equal so we're going to use those theorems to prove the, the, the theorem right um, the question will come in a question paper like this uh, for example it says use the sketch below to prove the theorem which states that angle BAT that angle there is equals to angle ACT ACB that angle there now when we are proving a theorem there are three steps that you must go through the first one you must write what we are required to prove the second one you must do construction if your construction is wrong you are not gonna get marks if your construction is not there no construction no max and then the third part you need to know which theorems we are going to use we already seen in the previous slides that you are going to use three theorems to prove this the three, three conjectures to prove this theorem so we're going to go to a whiteboard now to do the proof that is required for this theorem right we, now we are on a whiteboard we're going to prove the theorem now the first thing that we must do we must write what we are required to prove we're going to use a red pen so that you can see this angle that you are required to prove you are required to prove angle b a t we are required to prove that angle b a t 
is equals to this angle here. Angle A C B. A C B. Right. Now we do our construction. No construction. No mass. Wrong construction. No mass. In this theorem, you wanna draw diameter. Diameter E O A. A diameter is a line that crosses through the center of the circle from the one circumference of the circle through the center to the other side. So we're gonna have E here. And then we're going to draw a diameter. Our diameter is going to start at E, go through the center, dotted line because it's a construction, to A. Then our next construction, we're going to join C, E. Right. We are ready with our our construction. Now we are ready to do our proof. Now you remember that when we are looking at our slides, we said we have three theorems that we use to prove this theorem. Three conjectures that we use to prove this theorem. The first one is the angle in semicircle. This angle, because we have a diameter here, this angle is 90 degrees. But this angle is made up of two angles. So we're going to write those two angles separately. It's made up of angle E, C, B. It's made up of angle E, C, B. Plus angle A, C, B. And these two angles are equals to 90 degrees. And our reason is angle in semi second. Right. Then our first part, the next part is the angle, the diameter and the tangent. Now, this angle here is 90 degrees because it's an angle between a diameter and a tangent. But this angle also is made up of two angles. It's angle B, E, A, B, plus B, A, T is equal to 90 degrees and the reason is a diameter perpendicular to a tangent. Right, two theorems we've used already. The last theorem that we use, now we are looking at these angles. Do you see that angle there and that angle there? So angle E C B E C B is equals to angle E A B and the reason is angles in same segment. Now when you look at our theorem, our proof so far. These angles that we want is this one, and the other one that we want is B80, is this one. Now you see that these angles are equal to these two, but now we've just proven that these two are equal. Therefore, these two angles are equal. Therefore, you are done with your proof. You can go, therefore, angle B80 is equal to angle CB, AC. B. And that's it. You're done.